Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. Today I'm going to show you an easy beginner project these solid pink salt scrubbing bars. These solid bars are meant to exfoliate. So you can use them all over your body. You can use them just on the rough spots, you know, your elbows, your knees, the back of your, your feet. But they are meant to be used in the shower or the bath. They do require just a little bit of hot water to help heat up, and but they do sort of start melting on contact with skin. They're really interesting as an exfoliation product because there's no water in them, so they don't require any outside preservative source. They get all of their moisturizing properties from the cocoa butter that's in there and the avocado butter. And interestingly enough, all of this pink color comes from the naturally occurring pink Himalayan sea salt. So the very first thing to do when making this is to put your cocoa butter pastilles in a heat safe container. And then you're also gonna need to weigh out your cocoa butter pastilles and your avocado butter. You can melt in the microwave or you can melt over a double boiler. I'm gonna go ahead and just make it easy on myself and melt it in the microwave. One of the ways we make sure that the butters in here don't get grainy is by really melting them gently and slowly. So I've pulled this out of the microwave while the pastilles are still pastilles, and I'm going to let the natural heat of the melted butters that are, have already melted melt the rest of it all the way through. And so in terms of temperature, I'm at about 121 right now, and my pastilles are still melting slowly. I would much prefer this rather than boiling or burning because once the butters separate into their different types of oil that all butters are comprised of, think of regular table butter. What happens when you melt re regular table butter? It never goes back together, right? Same thing with these butters. So you really want to melt them gently and slowly so they don't end up striating out with different layers of types of fatty acids that are in the butters. Another thing to keep in mind is since we are adding salt to this and the salt is pretty heavy, it will go to the bottom of the molds if this temperature is too warm. So that's another reason we want to keep the temperature down because we actually want this temperature to be around 80, 82, 85 degrees in order to suspend the salt in our molds. Another ingredient I use for this is polysorbate 80. Now polysorbate 80 is a liquid emulsifier and what it helps to do with this particular product is it helps to bind the water that's in your bathtub or your shower to this product, making it more creamy and also helping to make this a much less oily product and more conditioning. This is useful for when you're stepping out of the tub, but also it just feels better on the skin. So I really like the polysorbate 80 in this when you're making it. The fragrance that I chose for this project is Brambleberry's Secret Garden fragrance, which smells, yes, like a secret garden. There's jasmine, there's cedar, there is mm, some beautiful kind of clover notes in there. I really like it. I get a little bit of citrus notes in here. It's a really, really, subtle, nice, not in your face floral. That's a total crowd pleaser. I'm gonna do 0.8 ounces in here because we're making quite a few bars of this and I am going to weigh that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my salt by weight. I'm gonna use 22 ounces of the pink sea salt extra fine. And if you used a larger grain, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. You just have slightly more kind of scrubbiness. I like this one because it feels uh, a little more, I don't know, silky as opposed to like, ouch, scratchy. All right, 22 ounces. And then once I have that all measured, it's gonna be ready to add these two together really quickly. And once that happens, this whole thing gets pretty set up pretty quickly. Because remember, we want to pour around 80 to 85 degrees. Now, since clearly I cannot fit all this pink sea salt into here, I'm going to pour my liquids into the salt. And I'm going to immediately start to stir because I don't want anything to harden up too quickly. And I'm just going to make sure to incorporate all of those oils with the salt. And I have a big spatula here to start glopping because this is already starting to get pretty hard pretty quickly. I don't even think I need to check the temperature, but I will. Just to be on the safe side, 89 degrees. We're basically ready to pour because this is going to definitely suspend. So now taking my big spatula and I'm gonna glop into my molds and I don't wanna fill up more than halfway. So just going to kind of 
eyeball that. And then once they're completely in, you notice that there are some beautiful rose petals. I'll put those on once this is all scooped in and ready to go. So these last three that I poured, yeah, you know what, they didn't smooth out quite as perfectly as the first ones, which made sense. So if that happens to you, you can always just smooth them out yourself with a little bit of finger. Kind of depends on how thick this is getting for you. And now it's time to the finishing touch, which is some rose petals just in the corner for a little bit of added gorgeous texture and interest and fun. And once I get these in, I'll kind of just push them in just a little and then they will stay really nicely. So now I'm just gonna push in and as soon as this is done, I'm putting this all right into the freezer. I want this to harden up as fast as possible. Don't want any of the salt to escape out of these oils because I want the skin exfoliating goodness of this Himalayan pink sea salt to be evenly distributed throughout the bar. So once you use this product, you will have really lovely moisturized soft skin and it will feel conditioned because of those extra oils that are left behind after you exfoliate and rinse off. So these have been sitting in the freezer overnight and as you can see, they're nice and hard and they're pretty easy to pop out because, well, they've been in the freezer. So if you are just making these, just consider putting them into the freezer to make everything slip out really easily. And then once they're out, they are ready to use right away. These are pretty oily. They are designed to melt on contact with skin. That does make them trouble to package. So you can either individually wrap them in shrink wrap or saran wrap. You could put it in like a candle tin, like an actual hard case tin, or you could do a little stack of them and then wrap that in saran wrap, put a nice little bow around it. The person that's using this will get between, depending on how much body that they're scrubbing, they'll get between one and four uses. So if they're doing a full body scrub, this will last for about one to two uses. If you're just doing the elbows and the knees and the feet and that kind of stuff, you're probably gonna get four or five uses. So keep that in mind when you're selling these or giving them away. I hope you enjoyed this project. You can find this type of project and many more on brambleberry.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe to our channel so every single time we come out with new videos, you will be the first to know. Until next time. Yeah. Look at us, we are just, we are, we are doing this, it's great. I use like a lot of words. <laughs> Okie dokie, a little more than point eight. that's fine. Mom, I'm on the edge when I see you. Yeah, you're right. What? <laughs> well, I couldn't say happy soaping. There's a lot of stomping going on. I'll, if there is something to overthink, I will overthink it, don't you worry.